Hello, friends. So today, let's talk about why the freshers find it difficult to get jobs in DevOps. So DevOps and cloud, they both go hand in hand. And it's very, very important for uh, the freshers or people who have low experience to understand what is DevOps and uh, how they can actually start up their DevOps career. So today, I'll tell you about maybe around 8 to 10 points on uh, what are the important things that you can do to start your DevOps career? The first thing that you need to know is that you should have a very, very clear understanding of DevOps. So what it means is that you should understand what is DevOps and what DevOps is not. So DevOps is actually a movement or culture shift in application or software development. So it's not just a technology. It's a way in which how the applications are created, how the applications are deployed, how they are built, how the security checks are done. So it's very, very important to understand what DevOps is. So in order to build your career as a fresher, and in order to understand what a cultural shift is, you need to have a productive, cost-effective approach. Uh, and what does it mean in, the, in software development? So when you when you start bringing all these technologies like source control, uh, you have got continuous integration, continuous delivery, a uh, code scanning, you've got Docker. Uh, where do all these things fit together? Uh, you need to have a very very clear understanding of that. The second uh, I would say is your background and existing knowledge. So you should have a little bit of knowledge about uh, the network operations, uh, about a little bit about database. Uh, you should know what are the pro what different programming languages are. Uh, you should have some background on uh, what a continuous integration is, and you will you will also uh, come to know when when you're learning about all these things. So uh, some of these things come up as while as learn as you are on the job, but some of the background you should already have the knowledge for. The third I would say is uh, taking note of what are the crucial technologies in DevOps. So for, for example, uh, you have scripting languages, uh, you've got Python, uh, you've got PowerShell, you've got Java, C++, Ruby, Go, Bash scripting, Power scripting. So there are, there are so many other uh, technologies uh, that, that are working together with it. Uh, so you need to understand what are the different technologies. You need to understand what is Docker, uh, what is Chef and Puppet, uh, what is Terraform? What is Kubernetes? So just try to have a basic understanding of what all these technologies are and where they fit together. Number four, uh, I think uh, certifications can really help you. So if you are uh, trying to build your career path in DevOps, uh, there are a lot of DevOps certifications which are offered by AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So you can actually start reading for those certifications. That will also help you in building a lot of knowledge. Plus a certification in your CV uh, will look uh, pretty, pretty good. And there are more often than not uh, chances of getting you an interview. Number fifth is, I would say, a move beyond the comfort zone. So what it means is that uh, just having a bit of knowledge and if you're not keen on learning new things, that will not get you, get you very far. So you should you should be very, very willing to, to actually get out of your comfort zone, try to actually uh, learn new technologies in whatever time that you get. Uh, even your uh, after hours of whatever uh, busy schedule that you have, try to actually read uh, a little bit of uh, what is happening in DevOps and uh, probably get more idea about uh, the DevOps roles that are in the market. One of the things that uh, you can do is go, go on to the different job sites and see what they're asking for. So that will give you a very, very good idea about what are the new technologies that you should know about. Because uh, when you look at a job description uh, in, in your uh, career website, then you would know that what are the different technologies the recruiters uh, and the companies are looking for. And then you can do more preparations regarding that. The next uh, one I would say is developing your brand. So now you would, you would say that what is a brand? So I'm just a person. Uh, so what it means is that uh, once you have a bit of 
expertise in uh, in your DevOps. You can start building your brand through, there are so many platforms. So you can build a brand through LinkedIn. You can start uh, your own uh, little YouTube channel and probably uh, try to get to, uh, a little bit of different topics in it. Also, you can have your Git repository created. Uh, the benefit of your Git repository is that uh, you can make it uh, visible uh, to a limited number of people or you can make it public. So when you go in for an interview, then you will be able to tell them that, uh, okay, this, this is uh, what I have done. People will be able to see that, yes, you have been coding for a while uh, and, you, and the level of coding that you do. So that is how you start developing your brand and you can put it up in your CV as well, uh, all these different sort of things that you are doing. Also, you can go and participate in open source projects. So that is uh, that will actually give you a lot of experience. So even... And anybody can go and start contributing on an open source project. So you don't need an invitation for that. So you can just uh, go to the different forums, uh, apply for open source contributions and start coding in it. So it's easy, but it makes a very good impact. And the last point is uh, you should have curiosity and empathy. So what I, what I mean by it is that you should always be curious as to where a new piece of technology fits in. So. Uh, let's say if you're learning about Helm, you're learning about Rancher, uh, you're learning about uh, any uh, new AI stuff that is currently happening uh, or any sort of machine learning models. So you should be always curious to understand where all this fit in in terms of DevOps and cloud uh, so that you have an understanding of where the missing gaps are. And then you can put in some no more knowledge towards that and then you can fit in your knowledge. So everything becomes more like a jigsaw puzzle. And then suddenly one day you will realize that, okay, all these different puzzles, how they fit together and, and, and you can picture it up. So I think these are the points that I wanted to talk about. Uh, and uh, just, just uh, I just wish you all the best and uh, thank you.